So I'm standing here at the shore of Lake Edslan on its southern end. And Lake Edslan is one of my favorite areas in all of Dalsland. There's a road going around the lake and that's what we'll be exploring today. Driving along is 36 kilometers long and is mostly unpaved gravel roads. And on the northern tip of this road, we get down to Lake Omelen, a very beautiful spot. So right into the right here we have Bali Åsen which is one of my favorite places to hike. Very beautiful view. I really love this place. I'm not gonna go here or I'm not gonna hike today. Today we're gonna continue around the whole lake. But I'm looking forward to showing you Bali Åsen someday. Very very beautiful, very beautiful. Welcome to my first stop, which is Kroksjön. Easy to access by the road and a very beautiful place to have a rest and even to camp. Very beautiful. Very nice fireplace this, nice logs to sit on, here you can have a really really good time, a really good time. And 
even though the road is just by, by the side of this place, it's really tranquil. The traffic here is, well, you can get a car driving by every now and again, but it's not that often and you still get that peace and tranquility here. I'm just feeling like making a fire right now, but it's a bit early in the morning, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, I'm going to drive on to the next stop, which is the bay at Holsten, down by Lake Ummeln. And there, it might be, when I get there, it might be time for lunch. I could stay here for, uh, for, for a lot longer, <laughs> but I still have lots to explore, so I can't stay here.
So this is the Bay of Holsten. A very beautiful spot at the end of Lake Ummel, but sadly they blocked access with a the car that placed these big rocks. So you can't drive your car down here if you want to sleep in your car. But if you have a tent, you can sleep just fine. Or if you want, there is a wind protection hut as well. When I first started to explore Dalsland, those stones weren't there. They were placed here later. And sadly, there are quite a few places where they've placed out stones to remove access to wild camp areas with your vehicle. But still, this is a beautiful place, a really nice view of fire pit, and yeah, a great place to spend some time. But you can't get your car down, which is sad. So, I decided to drive on from the Bay of Holsten, basically because, well, it's so close to the road and I have my kitchen in the car, so I really wanted to get a bit more secluded than what that offered, in my car at least. So I drove on a little bit, found this little road going off into this old quarry, and here I'm quite secluded and it's pretty beautiful. It's a fire pit and everything here. Uh, I'm not gonna make a fire right now since I'm just gonna focus on my lunch, which is a can of soup and some bread. So let's get started. So hot soup with uh, semi-toasted bread. Anyway, soup with bread is just delicious. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. A bit of a burnt flavor. Toasting it over, over the gas flame. It's so delicious. Oh yeah. Mm. Soup, just, oh, I love soup. On a cold day like today, soup is just the best it makes you so hot and oh it just feels so good inside
So I'm at a crossroad. I'm just quickly gonna see what what it is up here. beginning of this road saying that it is gated so I'm expecting a gate to come up any any second now really so down to the left here goes a road but that has a gate at once and there we have the other gate so yeah but wait a second you can see the gate just ahead there. Looks to be something down here, however. So let me just run down and see what that is. So just down here we have what it looks like a bit of a wind protection hut. And that is exactly what it is. <laughs> We have a fire pit, a nice wind protection where you can sleep. Uh, it is actually a fee to sleep in these here in um, Nordmarken in Dalsland. It's around 60 kroners per night, and most of these wind protection shelters are made for canoers. So you can rent a canoe or have your own canoe and just paddle around in, in these waterways that are vast and numerous. I'm just gonna go down to the lake here and see how it looks. And this is still not Lake Edsland. I know I said we're driving ar around Lake Edsland and if I show you the road on the map you'll understand but the road seldom actually goes down to lake its number still goes all the way around it oh, this is pretty so that was definitely worth a visit a short drive from the main main gravel road down to a very secluded nice little wind shelter The lake out here now is Hetzland and uh, this is actually the, other, the only time where we actually get down to the lake while driving the road. And I'm gonna stop just in a bit here. I think it is a beach that we can get down to. Is this even a road? It is somewhat of a road, but um, I want to turn around before dropping down. It was a very steep bend, or yeah, a very steep bend. So I really wanted to just let's see, can I turn around here? The road down to the beach was a little bit washed away, it looked like, but I think we'll be fine. Yeah, that, that's fine, that's fine. So this is pretty nice. Actually getting the car all the way down to the lake. So yeah, this is pretty. This could be a really, really nice place for for camping. Since you can get the car all the way down here. 
you are early enough you could get this place all to yourself, sure. The road is just up there, but during night time, I don't think almost any car is going to drive by. And it's a fire pit there, someone has even left their old chairs here. Very, very beautiful indeed. And Lake bed isn't too bad either. Really beautiful. driving on a small little road that I accidentally drove on uh, what could that be like six years ago and I ended up on a small little road well, I was trying to get a play to a place but the road just kept getting smaller and smaller and in the end though I had to give up since the road was getting too small and just too bad for, for the car that I had at the time. Um, but now my car is a little bit more capable and I want to see if I can continue on that road and uh, see where it ends. Yeah, it is this small little road going in here. I think that I actually drove down this road in my old Mazda 323. It was winter and snow and that probably helped me not to realize how small this road actually is. And here we have the split where, where I stopped. I realized that the road up here was actually way too small for my car. And is it still? I have to note that I have not driven past a sign saying that this is a private road. And obviously no gate. So technically I'm allowed to drive here. I have no idea where this road actually goes. It's just pure fun driving on it. We are climbing. What are we climbing to? To think that I was trying to drive a Mazda 323 up this road. I must have been crazy. It's hardly a road anymore. <laughs> Is this the end? I'll have to actually check this out on the outside. It looks to be getting a bit... Uh, the road kind of vanishes. It looks more like a trailer. So here it's getting a bit more proper off-road. And the trail depth uh, up here it's getting a bit higher so I'm thinking that I've actually reached a point where where, where, where the soft roading capabilities of my Subaru is 
is ending where, and I would actually need a proper 4x4 in order to continue this this trail. I don't think the ground clearance of my car is actually going to handle all of this. It's getting a little bit too high for I'm gonna I'm gonna drag my exhaust pipe. I'll probably touch on, on my differentials as well. So I'm thinking that the point where I drove or where I got to is the end. Huh. I didn't really think that I would come to a point on, on a road that was open where that was even, even possible here in Dalsland. But apparently it is. So so as I was walking, I was checking out a bit of the height uh, and basically came up to here on me. So I'm gonna have to check that out in my car. But of course, that will be one little bit. Well, the way that I see it is that my car won't handle it. I would have to be, car would have to be like a 10, 15 centimeters higher and I would probably be able to do it, but as it sits right now, I'm not comfortable going any further today. So I'm gonna have to turn around and go down. But what an exciting adventure, yeah. Yes, indeed. Basically, it was too high for what I think my vehicle would be able to handle. My Subaru is very good at getting forward as long as it doesn't bottom out. And I don't really want to bottom out. Uh, so yeah, I'm heading down again, but yeah, that's the most fun I've had. The most fun on a small little road that I've had. I think I've ever had in my in my forest here. Being able to go get up these kinds of roads is really why I wanted this vehicle to begin with and actually being able to find these roads has been one of the challenges even finding a road that is open where I'm allowed to do, allowed to drive. So yeah, I'm, as you can see I'm a little bit excited. Yeah, it was very fun. Now I'm just gonna make my way back down. Yeah. One of the things that I do enjoy very much about this car is actually the low range gearbox. Even though it isn't low range in the sense of a true 4x4, the low range gearbox in this car allows me to do things a bit more controlled, take things slowly and gives me a bit more power where I need it in the gear range, meaning lower down without being too explosive in the power delivery. So I really enjoy having that low range gearbox. And down on the gravel road again and now we're gonna head out to some tarmac and before we drive out towards a nature reserve which is the last stop before we have rounded the whole lake.
gonna have quite a few adventures up here in, uh, in Nordmark and uh, going forward. I really like, I really like this area quite a lot. There's just so much to explore here in uh, in uh, Dalsländska Nordmarken. Dano. So right now we're down at Laxarby on the road straight ahead here. Uh, there is a really beautiful <laughs> gravel road leading down to Baldersnes. But we're driving towards the left back towards Lake Edsland, Edsleskog and that na nature reserve that I talked about. And this this tarmac road is road number 164 between Bengtsfors and Åmål. Last little gravel road of the day here to a nature reserve called Kedness. It's one of those places where I've driven past like a thousand times thinking about getting there yet never going there. So the lake on my right side right now is Edsland. And the shoreline is just beautiful on the other side. It's sunlight just licking it. And it looks really beautiful right now. So here we have a sign. Uh, I'm just going to check out the sign. It seems to be a parking lot here, but the road continues. I just want to know where exactly I am, where the road leads, and what's going on. This is the parking lot for, for the reserve, and it's a trail leading around, but the road continues through the reserve, and then there is a roundabout place at the end, and I just want to drive to the end and see See what what it's like over there. I suppose this is the end of the road. Place down here, a great view. And I think one could stroll around along this shoreline for for quite a while actually, especially if the water levels are a bit lower, like they are now.
nice place. Bringing your own firewood and making a great fire down by the lake. On a place like this, especially now that we're getting into the colder season and the insects are kind of going away. We have a really good time. I've found plenty of good locations on this exploration trip, so I'm really happy about that. I'm really happy about that. I'm just gonna check out the reserve as well, and I call it call it a day. Call it a day. Yeah. I have to say that it's a really pretty view. The mountain is just coming out into Lake Edslan, but it's completely destroyed by the road and the traffic that goes just below it. So of all the places that I visited today, this, the last one, which is in a reserve, I have to say that I am surprised is the worst location that I visited. And that's not because of the view, but because of the ongoing traffic, which has a constant noise, which is amplified by the fact that it is a hill on the other side, so it's reflected from that towards me. So it's very noisy, but still quite beautiful actually. So, now back exactly where I started. And with that, I want to say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe in order to stay tuned for more. I'm trying to get one video out every week with some exploration, overlanding, wilderness, adventure. Yeah, and with that said, See you all soon again. Until next time, goodbye.